Van life with your cat, is it possible? We definitely think it is. How to prepare your cat for van life? That's something we're gonna figure out today. We're gonna take our fur ball on a walk to a park, we're gonna go on a little adventure, and we're gonna talk about how we're gonna prepare him for van life. It's like a baby, you know, you need to have all your stuff with you when, wherever you go. So we're gonna talk about how he's gonna do his business. We can't put a diaper on this cat, you know what I mean? About his comfort, his security, and his safety, and everything that comes with living in a van as a cat. Come along today and find out how to prepare your cat for van life. So long for an adventure, huh? Alright, alright. Alright. Sick. Alright, let's go. So we've now refilled up our tank and now we're heading to the park with Gizmo. So as you can see already, he has his safety backpack on and a little space be between it. But we'll talk about that later when we arrive. I think we just arrived to our destination. Gizmo's been really good. Let's get some parking and uh, get him out of the car. We made it. He's already been a couple of times with us outside, but it's been a while now. What we first tried to do is with Gizmo is we give him the time to like adjust to the space where he is. So he's already familiar to the smells of everything in this area of the seating. He needs to like coordinate himself knowing where he is. Hey guys, no, you can come. That's okay. You can come. Ooh, yeah. come. Ooh, you, you just come. That's okay. Yeah. He can like lay in this bed completely. There's also, I'll open this one. There's also a spot in here. Everything can go through. So he can like recalculate where he is. This is the first time he's actually in the van in the back. We also brought bl blankets for Gizmo, a small a small one and a big one. The big one is gonna stay here, but we're gonna take a small one always with us because you never know if Gizmo has an accident or not. So at least have this. Another thing you need to keep in mind when you're taking your cat for a walk is to always have poop bags with you. Because once we went on a walk and he was meowing and we had no idea why, we thought he was just tired of the walk, but it turned out he really needed to poop. All right, let's go. We're taking another good stuff because our uh, sir here has a little cold and needs his hatch. Yeah, <laughs> it's a bit too cold. It's a bit cold, but Gizmo seems all right. He's okay. Yeah, Gizmo's fine. Because he doesn't really like the cold, but luckily he has a big fur to keep him warm and he has a nice and cozy backpack. And as we said, we're not doing this for hours and hours, you know. We're just doing it for a little bit of time so he gets used to it again. He doesn't forget that it's also going to be part of his life. Yeah, and exactly. That's that's where we try and that's the goal. That's the goal. Getting him ready for a life on the road. Yeah. I was never the one to give up the ghost. No, I was so stuck. I kept on playing my part. Wanted to give up because nothing was changing. But with you it's so clear and now that you're here I see colors and never respect drum. Maybe we should let him walk for a little bit? Yeah, sounds good. We love to have a very quiet place with not a lot of people. We don't want to put Gizmo too much stress, of course. I hope he will get out. I'm not just sure. It occasionally happens when we go to a picnic, for example, that Gizmo doesn't want to leave. That's exactly what's happening right now. 
our buddy's uh, doesn't want to walk. This happens also, just so you have to be aware of that. We give him as much of of possibilities to go outside of the backpack without falling out of the backpack because when he falls out of a backpack again stress and that's something we try to avoid hey buddy there are some ducks we are noticing for example right now he is not having stress by the way he's breathing by the way he's like reacting and as long as gizmo is relaxed i'm relaxed and boys relaxed if he really doesn't want to go for a walk, then that's okay. We don't want to force him to do something he doesn't want to. So this is already a big step for him, again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm comfy here. Yeah, he's okay. You can leave me here, it's okay. So, uh, so long for an adventure, huh? Sometimes we try to motivate him by just like putting him on the grass. So he can have at least have a little walk. But we don't pull on the leash, we don't do that stuff. He knows it. He's not having it. No, I think he wants to stay in his backpack. So, yeah. At least we tried. We tried, and he's relaxed, and he had some sunshine. So it's still it's still a big success. Yes. <laughs> there he goes. Okay, we'll have some breakfast, and we'll let him get his morning nap out in the sunshine, around a little nature. Because when he's at home, he loves to look outside, he loves to see birds. Because So now he can see them too. And we really want to give him that. You know, it's not because we're going to live in the van, we're going to live in a metal box, that he's not allowed to look outside. So, Which is also why we think it's really important to let him go outside and walk in the grass sometimes. To feel a little bit connected to nature, even though he's not an outdoors cat. And you think it's possible, for sure. Like, it's not because your cat's raised indoors that he can also enjoy the outdoors. Cats are capable of more than you think they are. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Then you, you take on my bones and make Okay, I think he's doing fine in there. In case he's not fine, in case he's not gonna be fine in the van, and we feel like when we're traveling through Europe, we're like this is not working out, we do have a backup plan. My parents are more than happy to take him in, into their home and take care of him. So in case it really doesn't work out and we can't take him to Canada, which would be really heartbreaking, and we at least know he's gonna be in safe hands and he's gonna be in a happy home and taken care of by really lovely people. So a safety net was really important for us, even when we first got Gizmo in the first place. It's something we had in the back of our minds. Like if this doesn't work out, we know he has like a family he can go to. So that's something you have to keep in mind as well. If you want to adopt a cat and you want to go travel with it, make sure you have a safety net, a place where he can go. If it doesn't work out, because you never know the character of your cat, you know. We have a really good cat, he's really adaptable and he, he's pretty okay with change. But not all cats are like that. So if your cat is really a bit more like on the autistic side, which is possible, and he might not love the change of environment. Another thing that we want to talk about is a GPS tracker. If there's a scenario where Gizmo runs off, that we want to have a GPS tracker on his collar so we can track him actually. Of course the plan is not to let him run off for in, in any case, but it can happen. Accidents happen and cats are really fast. So in case he does run off and, and he has a GPS tracker, then at least we can find him. We know where he is. Also another thing, we want to install like really safe, good safety system in the van with a camera. So when we're not in the van, but he's in the van, that we can always see what's happening. He's there and we're not, that he's, we know he's really safe in there. For us, that's super important. It's also the reason why we got only one small window in our van, so burgers can really get in there. Because Gizmo is a breed cat, like he's a special breed, so it could happen in some places that they want to steal him. So that's a big reason why we only chose a very small window in our van. Exactly, and if you have some other tips actually for us, so from GPS trackers or van life tips or animals, leave them below in the comments. We're very open-minded. The reason why we chose a small window is for safety reasons, of course. So burglars don't can come into the van that easily. And we also don't want to draw too much attention to our van. I feel so free, I'm a sweet baby. So another thing that we also want to talk about is uh, our scent. Gizmo is used to our scent, so basically 
every time if we're going somewhere at this point of course uh, in the van build um, we try to give our scent everywhere in the van where we can so my seating area both seating area yeah he needs to know the van is his territory that no other cats are coming in there it's his and his space only that's what matters most because cats are very territorial that's why for example also we have this backpack and you probably already noticed that but um, when we were like sitting and relaxing this is a safe spot so gizmo is not really relaxed in here for example you can see he's really chilled enjoying the sun hey buddy and uh, that's the main goal that we can implement that idea also into the van so that scent that's in there is also in the van so that he has his own spot and nobody else can interfere with that he already peed in there once so his scent is definitely in this backpack <laughs> yeah he even pooped in there yeah it did so we are really prepared with clean wipes, bags, a towel, you never know, be prepared. Some, wa some water, some snacks, just in case he doesn't want to move anymore. <laughs> Always, it's like a baby, you know, you need to have all your stuff with you when, wherever you go. We're going home now, we're actually almost at the van and uh, yeah, I think we have for like an, an hour walk, something like that. Yeah, look at him. He's almost out, so uh, I think by the time we're going home, He'll be passed out. He'll be so passed out. But we'll see you at home. Look, he looks so relaxed right now. I think he's happy he's home though. Aren't you, buddy? Are you happy you're home? Yeah. <laughs> he's relaxed. He's relaxed, so we're relaxed. So I uh, really hope we could give you as much information as we could today. Uh, so if you're, you have a cat and you want to bring him to your van, that it goes as smoothly as with us. Of course, we're not experts yet. We're not, we're not living in the van yet. So by the time we are moving into the van, we'll give you a big update about how everything's going and about how Gizmo is doing. Yeah, exactly. So in the meantime, we hope you enjoyed this vlog. And if you enjoyed this vlog, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you want to. And uh, we'll see you the next time, guys. Bye. Bye. Will you be there?